These two microgreens may look the same from a distance, but they are very, very different. On today's video, we're gonna do a deep dive comparing this product to this product in terms of nutrition, flavor, shelf life, and yield. Let's get right into it. In this clamshell, we have product that I bought from a local health food store. And I actually went out and found the best of the best of the local varieties that weren't the company that I started in the local area. And this is the microgreens that I grew right here today. And we're gonna do a deep dive into the differences between these two. But first off, I just wanna show you guys what they look like from a close up. If you see here, you can see these are pretty long stem, pretty small leaves, and um, yeah, they look pretty pretty common, normal microgreens that you'll find in your local health food store. And then in here, we have the microgreens that were grown on the table right here. You can see pretty short stems, very large leaves, uh, much darker green in color comparing the two. So if we put them side by side, we can see really the difference in color in leaf size so you can see it's, it's a very different product visually now if we open up this these clamshells so if you see here we have the microgreens that i grew here today and we have the ones i bought in the store so first off you can see that the leaf size is a lot a lot larger on these versus these guys and the stem is significantly longer um, also, the ratio of the stem to the leaf is significantly different. So um, this is a major quality concern um, to, to sell this type of product, because if you're competing against something like this, um, people are going to want to buy that because it just visually looks better. Next up, we're going to do a taste comparison, comparing the store-bought local organic microgreens versus the ones that were grown here. So these microgreens that you see here are the same that are in this clamshell, and they're grown with the super soil um, recipe that is completely free that you can get on our website in our complete free growing guide that you can download today. Um, and then this is what is more typically what you most information you'll find on YouTube. You can grow microgreens like this, uh, you know, pretty average quality, average taste. Um, but now we're going to actually do a taste test comparing the two. So we'll start with this product, but as you can see, uh, pretty long stems, pretty small leaves. So let's see what it tastes like. They're, they're not bad. They have like a harsh after flavor, um, like a very strong sulfury flavor, which is good from a nutrition perspective. But from, a, from an eating perspective, the flavor is quite, quite harsh. Not a lot of crunch to them. Now, if we try these guys, um, you can see much smaller stems, much larger leaves, much more of a crunch. Still has that sulfury flavor that you would expect from broccoli but just not as harsh. It's almost like having like a, a nice wine versus like a, you know, $5 bottle of wine. There's a big difference in the, in the smoothness of it. And, uh, or for, in my case, I don't drink, but chocolate is, is my go-to and you taste a, a rich chocolate it has more complex flavor. And this broccoli microgreens has a sweeter, more crunchy, more complex flavor, but more neutral, not as intense of a, punch in your face kind of flavor that the, um, the other product I bought is. So they're, they're both good. I would, I would rather eat these than eat a regular head of broccoli in either case. But um, from a flavor perspective, in my opinion, obviously this is a biased video because I'm eating the product I grew and I harvested just today. So this was probably harvested a few days ago. Um, but in my opinion, I would much prefer uh, this product. Now, the most important thing, which is what this video is really about, is the nutritional value comparing these two products. The nutritional value is significantly different. And when I say significant, I mean significant. So we did a complete nutrient analysis comparing our Super Soul recipe to just regular ProMix. What most people are growing, um, whether you're a commercial grower or you're a grower that is just growing microgreens for the enjoyment and the fun of having something to grow in the cold winter months or just to have fresh produce year round. The difference, like I said, is substantial. So we're gonna dive deep into the numbers here and we did a full analysis. Um, so on the low end, we're gonna start with protein, 
which this product has 41% higher protein than this product. And that is the lowest difference we found in the analysis we did. So every, every, nutri every nutrient we tested had at least that or higher. So right off the bat, you can eat this clamshell and get 41% more protein than that clamshell, which in and of itself is kind of uh, uh, mind blowing. Uh, the next is magnesium. It was 48% higher in this product versus that product. The next highest was calcium, which was 81% higher in this product than that product. So as you can see already, the Super Soul recipe is like a winner in terms of nutrition as well. Phosphorus was 95% higher. So almost double the amount of phosphorus, which is really important for your bones, um, especially for kids as they're developing, but also elderly people. Um, it's really important to have enough phosphorus in your diet for your bones. So if you eat this clamshell, you can eat pretty much one of these and get the equivalent of two of those for phosphorus. Same thing with potassium. Potassium was 103% higher with the Super Soul recipe than the uh, competitor's product. So you can have half the amount of product and still get the same nutrition, which is kind of mind blowing. Next up is manganese, which was 140% higher in the Super Soul recipe than the regular Soul recipe from the local competitor's product. And last but not least, this one is by far the most staggering, which is iron, which is a really important nutrient that a lot of people are deficient in. The Super Soul recipe has 195% more iron than the non-Super Soil recipe from the local organic competitor's product. And this is a certified organic local product, and this is the Super Soul recipe that anyone can grow because you can get the recipe for growing this type of product on our website completely for free. So in simple terms, you can eat one of these clamshells and get the equivalent iron of three of these clamshells. So the product would be about the same price in the store, but you would have uh, three times as much nutrition in terms of iron as the competitor's product. And that's a, that's a substantial difference. There's not many times you'll find a difference that high from one product to the next. And this is why I always try to teach people that a microgreen is not always a microgreen. Just like a tomato is not always a tomato. There's a big difference in flavor, in quality, in nutrition. So it's really important for those of you that are commercial growers or those of you that are growing at home to understand these differences when you're either buying microgreens or when you're growing them because you really wanna sell a product that is top notch because it'll make life so much easier to sell the product if it tastes good, if it's really nutritious, if the shelf life is better, which I can tell you right now that having a product that's this vigorous and uh, that large leaf would mean that it's, it has more energy and it'll survive longer off the shelf. Whereas this, a lot of the, the weight is the stem and the stem is not the growth point of the plant. So it's more likely to, to um, go bad faster. So, um, and you could see it's not as vigorous because it's the leaves aren't as big, it's not as crunchy. So often the, the crunch is a big factor that will determine the shelf life as well because the crunchier it is, the more fiber is gonna be in there to hold itself up, which means it will last longer uh, in your fridge. So that's the full analysis that we've done and I'm hoping to do more of these analysis in the future. Uh, but as you can see, there's a substantial difference between growing with super soil and using a regular pro mix or any sort of other kind of uh, potting soil that you can buy at a garden center. So the soil is the key in having the right amount of nutrition. And of course the lights are important. There's other factors that are important in your watering schedule, but the, you, can, you can't make the nutrition come from thin air. It's gotta come from somewhere. So if it's not in the soil, then the plant can't absorb it. And this is the exact proof of that. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there's any other tests you'd like me to do or any sort of comparisons, please let me know in the comments below and we'll try to have that done for you guys. So thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you in the next one.